I love hearing a band's first EP or first tr- songs because, like, I just like it's. I I love that because I feel like you you never fully get that back i mean you can get a band that's like their first ep like kind of sucks but then but like even just the energy that raw energy that like a band first has on their first thing that they put out is just i don't know it's kind of like a first date you know yeah if a band is a love story yeah that first album is like their first year together yeah Mm -hmm. and i mean you might might hate it like as the band like you might look back and be like oh like you know i don't like any of that stuff but there's still something really magical about, you know, trying to figure out what you're doing and and putting it out there because it's it's not easy to just be like, all right, this is what I'm doing now and here you go, it's like on a record and I don't know, it's there's something special and magical. I I I would just say because like, I mean things that I like I just like I feel like I wouldn't change anything about that and it's more like I look at it and with like a kind of love i'm just like oh I'm so like so glad that happened because mm. it was like it was the birth of something new for you. it was a new project you know yeah. Yeah. of course you're gonna look at yeah. it like oh that's my baby oh i yeah. love that thing that yeah. i did mm-hmm. you know? but also this is a good band relationship that we have and oh, there you so go. you're uh, friends first yeah and we can look back right and we can look back on the first thing that we did together and be like this was all good shit and you know this is good for me this is good for all of us and so we don't have to look back and think oh i i hate how i gave that person more control than they should have had and you know (laughs) well i wish i spoke up for myself because i you know and i was being false and trying to impress people or you know we're not we don't have to feel that way this was a, a healthy and positive thing yeah I, I think as a as a listener, as a non musician, when I I want the feeling of like an artist like for example Ty Siegel, like when I put on his first first album, I kind of want to hate it because I want to hear how he evolved as an artist, which he has. Mm-hmm. I listened to his most recent one; it's totally out of out of whack from his first album, and mm. you know, in a couple of years, I hope the same for Weeping Icon. I want to hate Eyeball <laughs> Under, even though it's great, <laughs> but I want to hate it because Only you, I, want the new, I want the new shit to sound like, whoa, you know what I mean? This I want to see the evolution. Forever. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> right? You get what I'm saying, I right? I love that, There's yeah. a lot of artists that you like, yeah. and then when you listen to their first shit, it's like, okay, yeah. this is this is good, but... I don't want the first album to be your best album. Yeah. You know You're what I mean? You're a true audiophile. No. Yeah. You're a true audiophile. I, I mean, yeah. it, it really takes someone that like loves music to say something like that. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I feel like I don't know. I feel like our you know our culture of listening to music now has changed so much during you know via Spotify and streaming services that like who the hell is listening to full records anymore? Like other than audiophiles. Yeah. Other than people like you (laughs) and me and the rest of us in this room, because I know we all listen to full records, but like the random person on the street, just hearing weeping icon, like, I don't know if they're going to listen to our first record. Like who knows, you know, they might listen to like one song, jump around. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I respect that. I think that's a cool outlook on, you know, and I I think those are the people that we want to connect with and be, and you know, those people that that will take the time to to listen to full records and you know think about that and like how that you know it's a cool thing. 